Miss Freddy's going to love this collage. I really hope that she uses it for the next environment day. Why wait till the 5th of June to show that you care for the environment? Every day should be the World Environment Day. Every day, people should do something to help the environment. It shouldn't be just a day we do once a year. And it's possible. Mara, we just can't do it by ourselves. We need everyone to help. Right, Love Day? For example, recycling. Umalume Wam, we have an amsange. Perfect chance to show him our collage. I hope your mom doesn't give you grief about apologizing to him. After they see how his car pollutes the air and how our waste dirties the environment, I'm sure they'll make decisions that are better for the environment. Wow, I'm sure he's going to find this collage persuasive. My dad should take our collage to his work, show his bosses a thing or two on how to reduce the pollution the company creates. No way, man. Big companies don't listen to little kids. Actually, Sfiso, there are laws that force even big companies to take care of the environment. But look, love they're sending through his story. Google is right, guys. Just because big companies provide jobs, it doesn't mean that they can pollute the environment. Zweli was in the hospital with doorspijnen. Dr. Ntumbela said, hij zal aan om asma aanvallen te krijgen, zolang als we daar te veel zwaal dioxide in die lucht is. Zij dan Zweli en zijn pa, meneer Kumale, verduidelijk dat zwaal dioxide een gas is wat door fabrieken vrijgesteld wordt. Wanneer dit te veel wordt, ontwikkel mensen ziektes zoals asma. Baie van die kinders bij Zweli's school, Rose View Law School, heet asma. Rose New Law School is baie nabij aan een olie-raffineerder Petrofium gebouw. Meneer Kumalo het Zweli's school hoof, meneer Madonzella, gaat contact om een vergadering met ander ouders te reel. Die rookmis van Petrofium het hulle kinder siek gemaakt, was ook schadelijk vir die omgeving, en meneer Madonzella sê ook dat leerlinge dikpel siek is en achterraak met hulle schoolwerk. Gedeelende die vergadering was sommige ouders en lede van die gemeenskap baie ontsteld en wou hee dat Petrofeel moet sluit, maar dan so baie mense sonder werk sit. Meneer Mandonzella het gesê dat fabrieke een sekere hoeveelheid besoedeling kan afgeer, maar as dit die wereldgezondheidsorganisaties veiligheidsstandaarde oorskry, kan die gemeenskap aksie neem om een fabriek te dwing om die omgevingswette te eerbiedig. Hulle het toe een omgevingsalliantie gevorm waar die Departement van Gezondheid so nader. Die Gezondheidsdepartement het van hulle ambtenare gestuur om te vergader met Petrofeel. Lichtmonsters is in die omgeving gedoen om te bepaal hoeveel swaveldioxid in die licht is. Die toets het getoon dat daar te veel swaveldioxid in die licht is. Daar is bevind dat Petrofeel die wereldgezondheidsorganisaties en veiligheidsstandaarde oortree het. Petrofeel was geforceer om iets te doen om die licht te syver. Hulle moest toe een speciale stof in hulle skoonmaakproces inbouw wat help om die swaal dioxid wat vrygestel word te verminder. Hulle moest ook een systeem in plek bring om die hoeveelheid swaal dioxid wat vrygestel word in die licht te meet. Na een paar weke was die licht by Rousdeel Laarskoe baie skoener. Leerlinge kon buiten speel. Die omgevingsalliansie was tevrede, maar het steeds een oogie op Petrofeel gehou. Zweli was baie blij hieroor en vooral trots op sy pa. Meneer Kumale het besef weer op te staan en aksie te vat saam met die gemeenskap, hulle die kinders en omgeving kan beskerm, selfs vir toekomstige generaties. Zweli's story shows us all that nothing is impossible. If you want to make a difference, you have to stand up for what you believe in. Isn't it amazing what we can do when we stand together? We all have the right to live in a clean environment. All of us, even big factories, have to help to save our planet. Well, that's it for today.
in a parallel universe. Hey, Svisson. My uncle's getting rid of his 4x4. He's going to get a smaller car, which is much better for the environment because it uses far less petrol. Good for him, and even better for the environment. He says he didn't really know just how bad it was for the environment. I'll be breathing a lot easier with the less carbon dioxide in the air these days, for sure. Am I glad it's all sorted out? Speaking of sorted, we've started sorting our rubbish. From now on, it's recycling all the way. What? You should see my brother. He's so psyched about recycling. He's checking our recycling bags every 10 minutes to see if people are putting the rubbish in the right bags. <laughs> As he's, that'll keep him busy. But at least he's excited about cleaning up the environment. The cleaning never ends, Cuckoo. Dish duty calls. Is it your turn again? I'm so good at it. I should start charging. Catch you later, my friend. Enjoy. Bye, Swiss. Not 